It's, it's not just Richard Miles saying that there's security advice that is pre preventing him from disclosing these logs. We've also seen uh, the Foreign Minister, Penny Wong, stand up in the Senate and say that there is security advice on this. Uh, do you think this needs to now be made public? Well, I mean, when they were in opposition, now, you know, Foreign Affairs Minister, Senator Wong... Was, was, was deeply critical of the former government for not producing this exact same material. Went up, put a, a call for papers on, you know, a, an order to produce documents and said there needs to be transparency. We had Richard Miles uh, almost choking with apoplexy about Bronwyn, um, about Bronwyn Bishop's use of helicopters as special purpose flights. And now he's the Defence Minister and he won't tell us where he went he won't tell us who he flew with. He won't tell us the purpose for the flights. Now, um, if there is some kind of super secret security advice that says that's going to just um, somehow create a security risk by showing a pattern of life, mm. well, show us the security advice. And, and, and remarkably, in the motion we just moved today in the Senate, which the government opposed, we wanted to see, and we still want to see, show us the amended guidelines and show us the previous guidelines. Yeah. And the government was resisting even, even producing the guidelines under which Richard Miles has signed off on 3.6 million flights for himself. Now, that's mm. pretty bloody remarkable. Now, we know as well that there's at least one flight out of the 3.6 million that is questionable. Uh, Richard Miles is understood, and this has been reported by Samantha Maiden, it's understood he attended the Labor Party National Conference in Brisbane. He then flew to Sydney for the Matildas semi-final and then flew back to the National Party conference. It's understood to have cost around $16,000 taxpayer dollars to attend a Matilda semi-final game. What do you think about the use of taxpayer funds for this particular flight? Well, these are meant to be special purpose flights. It's where you can't reasonably get a commercial flight that is going to do the link between Sydney and Brisbane. And is anyone seriously going to tell us that there wasn't a credible, available commercial flight that would link Sydney and Brisbane. Now, look, there, there may well be circumstances where Richard Miles is entitled to use special purpose flights. If he's got to go to Washington uh, for a defence meeting, if he's got to go and, and, and visit military bases around the country. But to fly from Brisbane to Sydney and back again, to go and see a Matildas game, why is that being done at $8,000 an hour in a special purpose flight instead of... And the guy's not going to suffer. He can get a business flight on a regular commercial flight for a fraction of the cost. And, mm. and, and, the, and we're not being told any of the other flights. So, I mean, it's hard to stomach that um, being done by senior politicians. All right, David Shoebridge, appreciate your time tonight and we'll keep following this scandal as it unfolds.